What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with the Jurassic World Evolution 2 video for you guys today. And today guys, I'll be showing you how to set up an efficient power grid for your parks. Now guys, when you first start on any map, you will be given a backup generator or you will have access to a backup generator. Now these aren't the greatest, they will sap your money quite easily. Now as you can see, they have a maximum capacity of 30 watts, I guess you could say, 30 30, 30 thunderbolts. However, their fuel usage is ridiculously high and you will have to resupply it every single time it drops below the amount that it needs to power everything. And that can be rather expensive. It generally costs about 430,000 to fill up one of these. Now, if you look at the range of these as well, they're not the greatest. So if you've got a decently sized park, you're gonna need multiples of these in order to power everything around you. So the first thing you wanna do when you have access to a new park or you're setting up in your sandbox mode with uh, actual money and stuff like that is you need to come across into the research tab and research the improved power technology. This will give you access to a small power station, a small substation and the pylons. Now these are amazing for setting up power and they only get better. So you can see here are the pylons, we have the small substation and we have the small power station. Now the small power station requires a road, you can see here it does need access to a road and it also has a pylon sticking out of the top there. You can see right here is our small power station and it generates 60 watts of power. So at the moment we're currently using 59 of those so we've got one free spare watt. Now, if you do go over this cap, you will notice that everything will power down. However, an easy ramification for this is to simply add an extra small power station. All you need to do then is simply connect the two pylons from the power station and that will enable you to actually combine their power source, which will give you about 120 watts in total, which is amazing because that's a lot of power for a lot of of attractions in your parks. Now, the way that the pylons work is they essentially connect up the electricity to everything. So you can currently see here, we've got a line of pylons going around the park, which is connected to something here. We come at, have it streaming over here, which connects to another thing over here. And what these little things are, are substations. Now, these substations will provide power in that radius where they are located. So you can currently see here that we've got the little uh, HUD, of what it'll power in that circle. And we've got these dotted all over the map. These are much cheaper to use and much better to use than the backup generators. I would still recommend keeping some backup generators in certain locations where you will need power if a storm or something bad happens, um, in which case they will automatically kick in and take over for you while that storm is happening. But these are the next best things. And these simply just connect to the pylons. You can see there, if you place it in a spot that it'll line up with an existing pylon, it will resist, uh, it will replace that pylon that was there. So definitely worth investing in the technology. Now the next stage of the technology which you can get is the hidden, it's pretty much a hidden thing. So you can actually get rid of the pylon. So this will unlock the repeater substation which I would also recommend you getting. However, this isn't a necessity. I would definitely just recommend getting the improved power technology first because that will allow you to make the small power station. This is purely kind of like a, a cosmetic upgrade, I guess you could say. So what this does is it allows you to actually negate having to use the pylons. So you can see here we've got the repeater substation and the way that this works is it will hook up to any small substations in the area and it will actually allow you not to have to use pylons. Now, there is a certain range that you can actually use this. You can see there that it has to be close enough to a certain aspect. But what you can actually do is you can actually replace all your substations as well as your pylons with these structures. And that will allow you to power everything in that radius without having the ugly pylons in the way. So for example, we can chuck that down there. And if we were to say, just demolish this one here and this one here, we can then go ahead and chuck another repeater substation further down the line. These all link up to each other, but you can see there it's because we're trying to link it up to that. But if we go ahead and demolish this small substation, we can get rid of the pylons here. We can chuck in another repeater substation just there. And that'll allow us to simply chain these across the map, allowing us to power everything in its radius and getting rid of the nasty pylons. Now, the only downside to this is that you will need quite a few of them. However, um, 
it's not a crazy amount. And then once you get the subsequent upgrades, you will actually find that you can send these further away from each other. Um, and then you can get rid of all the yucky pylons that are in the way and you can decorate these to make them look a little bit nicer And then you won't have to worry about having all the disgusting pylons around your parks So guys that is how you set up an efficient energy grid make sure that you have multiple Power stations hooked up to each other if you are starting to go over the power usage And that'll allow you to run your park rather efficiently You can currently see here We are not running it very efficiently because we have dinosaur breakouts and a lack of power over here because we replaced them so I wouldn't necessarily use these repeater substations until you got some more of the technology located in the power tree. But definitely use the small substations and the small power station. It'll make your life a lot easier and save you a lot of money over using the backup generators. So guys, that's going to wrap up the video for today. Hopefully you enjoyed that one and I'll catch you in the next one.